Bonjour and bienvenue. Welcome back to Fancy Maiden's Odd Hideout. A new beginning edition featuring our favorite son, Burr. On the last episode, we read about vampires and learned what kind of vampires we are. We are obviously vampires. Because damn, we fine. So I'm guessing, um... Oh. That's... Hers. But this is also Andre's handwriting. Yes, I can see. Hey, Andre, you doing anything? Hey, Burr. Um. Uh, Andre, what is it? Are you alright? It's it's nothing. Just just that. I'm thirsty. Um. Uh, but that how could how could Andre really have? Though I'm drinking a ton of water. I still feel thirsty. <gasps> um. Blood. I guess I'll need to bring some blood. That's okay, girl. Let me let me talk to you one more time. I'm thirsty. Blood. All right. Let's go get you some food, girl. Pretty sure you just need some blood. Boop 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 boop. My poor son, he has to go through so much problems. On the bright side, I can run. Wait, I can just go, right? Shoot. Oh, okay, go this way. I don't think there's anything down there. Oh, portrait. Okay. No one here again. Did they still not find out I've intruded? Okay, so there's no helping it. Let's just take the necessary stuff and get back. Who knows who? That. Obtain food! The livestock shed. Obtain goat corpse! It just sounds so happy. Don't mind me, I'm totally innocent. White moon. Oh, at least we haven't run into anything, that's good. Oh. I don't want to talk to Andre. She's so mean to me. She keeps trying to like be condescending and keeps trying to kill me. You know what? I don't like that. I mean, I can understand. She's going through an addiction. It's okay. We are here for her. I still don't like being treated condescendingly though. Great. Now where is she? Over here. Homie, what are you doing? Uh, Burr, I was looking for you. Where did you go? I was also looking for you, Ange. Ange, I've brought food. Let's have our meal. That's right, it was about time. He's getting hungry, too, so let's go then. Yeah, and besides food, there's also. Ah, uh, that. Uh. Mm hmm. Oh, that was a great meal. Thank you, Burr. I'm now all full and not thirsty anymore, and you'll feel great. Ugh. Looks like the Andre really does. Oh, why do I keep doing that? I don't want to grab that. What's with the 16, like, gingerbread dudes? Is that, like, my lives? Or what? And the child is born on Sabbath day is bonny and blithe and good and yay. Why can't I have been there? Then I've been like twice as gay than I usually am. Do 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 do. Whatever. 
Yes, I understand. It's her handwriting. Okay, girl, what you doing? Hey, Andre. Stare. What is it now? How about you wear some different clothing sometimes? It's difficult to tell about Angie's apron. There's splotches of blood. Man, that's really annoying. There's no helping it because we can't get out. At least I can bathe, so it's fine, right? Cynthia. Angie doesn't notice. Perhaps I guess it's good that she doesn't notice then. Alright. Let's go, out, bro. Let's save. Let's get you some sleep. Ugh. For some reason, I just can't sleep. Alright, let's go check in our chiquita. Aww, Cynthia's sleeping with her. Mm. Andre, you. <sighs> ah. of me everyone but cry when all alone because I know it all despite being a cryberry crybaby on the inside you're always acting strong in front of me and everyone not showing your tears to anyone you've been like this for the longest time you were like this back then too Weren't you, Ange, acting all tough and all? I really dislike that part of you. But, oh, emo pose. What I really hate most, let me guess, is yourself. <sighs> mm. Tiny sign, go to sleep. You need, you need to stop angsting. You're too young to be angsting. I guess I'm a little more sleepy than I needed to be. Oh boy! Oh cool, we can see what's going on. I think... Okay, so... Cynthia is a witch, and the witches have, like, dreaming power, so I'm guessing Cynthia is, like, trying to talk to us. Um. Oh, there you are. Hey, Chiquita. Hey, Cynthia. Cynthia, notice me, senpai. Girl, are you trying to talk to me? You're not gonna talk to- oh, rude. Whatever. Okay, now we gotta- Find that red chrome. The breadcrumbs are always in the forest. 
Cynthia's just hanging out there. Oh, oh, there it is. I'm just really terrible at finding things here. Maybe I should restart my gambling addiction. Just where are these leading me to? I don't know why, but I get the feeling I must continue forward. Ange, I need to look for Ange. Surely she's crying all by herself. Wind back the time. The first 150 shots didn't even graze the targets. But after 300 shots, they slowly started to hit. After 500 shots, misses have become fewer than hits. Now surely... And in that time, Cynthia was killed. I didn't quite understand the reason. Cynthia was killed by a nonsensical custom the villagers created from made-up circumstances. By perhaps what is to Ange a most cruel method. Just when I thought I was able to make up with Cynthia, she disappeared right before me. Ever since that time, I started to question the things the villagers do. Why does Anja need to be killed? You're just by the hands of the villagers. This is all terrible. Absolutely terrible. Trainees have no right to speak. All you have to do is keep quiet and listen to what I say. So then I'll be going to sleep now. Wait, hey. Damn it. So it wasn't even worth listening to what I have to say, huh? been like this. My father wouldn't even listen to me. However much I try, however desperately insist, to my father it's all just the same as if I were a mere insect. And not just my father. Nobody in this village even tried to lend me their ear. Cynthia was killed due to this. After all, right? Such self-centered, insular, self-righteous. This village should just go to ruin. Well then, fine. If they're going to be like that, I have an idea. It's fine, even if I go this alone, I will defy even the whole village. I will absolutely not let Andre be executed. I've decided this, after all. <laughs> Father, about yesterday, I thought about some more and changed my mind. I was the one in the wrong, so when will Andre's execution be performed? Ah, uh, see, the execution will be at the beginning of next month, depending on preparations. It will be explained in detail at the meeting. Yes, understood. The beginning of next month, depending on preparations, huh? Fuck. After all, I want to become stronger. Do 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 We're getting a lot done. Let's see, how's the room? Well... Hey! She cleaned up the bed! There's only a little blood this time. Hey, Andre! What you doing? Uh, Andre, good morning. It somehow looks dark today, doesn't it? Uh, Burr. Good morning. Uh, Andre, what is it? You look so well, but do you feel ill or anything? Burr. Uh, it's nothing. I see, then I guess it's fine then. Oh, if there's ever anything you can tell me, I'm saying, 
I might not be able to count it on, but if I can do it, I'll do it. All right. Well, she doesn't seem very cheerful. I guess that in the end, it's perhaps in the dream she saw yesterday. So then I'll be going to the other side now. Oh, I'm glad you're here for me, Burr. Uh, uh, really? Is that so? Yes. Oh, oh he's, he's flushing my tiny son. Um, then I guess it's great. Okay. Let, let's go, you two lovebirds. Let him take a nap. Uh, huh? Can't seem to put any more strength into my body. Everything feels like it's spinning. Uh. I can't even control you, bro. You collapsed in front of the door? Couldn't you have done that, like, by the couch? Whatever. Uh. Huh? What happened to me? You took a nap on the floor. Hey, Bear, well, you were falling off first. You and T trying to push your limits, weren't you? Was you rather fell on well, right? <laughs> I guess Sanji is Sanji in the end. What are you saying? Isn't there anything I can do? Uh, then I think I'd like to eat something salty. Alright then. Yes, here. This is something salty. Hanji, thanks. Somehow I feel more energetic now. I see, then that's great. Yes, and here, these are yours, Hanji. Uh, but I'm alright. You can eat them all, Burr. But they feel more delicious if the two of us eat them together. I guess there's no helping it, is there, when you say that much? Speaking of which, we've always had something like this in the past, haven't we? Was that so? I thought you were so cute back then, Burr. Uh -huh. but, but now you seem cool, right? It's okay, tiny son. Um. Oh. Uh, I guess we'd like to return to those old times. Uh. I don't want to return to the past at all. I want to become an adult sooner and then. He can protect you. He, wants to, he just wants to protect you. So now that I feel energetic, it's I guess it's time to head out today. Let's see, what's our favorite hallucinating person doing today? Um, I'm glad you're here for me, Re Really? Is that so? Yes! Um, free pretzels! Um, then I guess it's great. I too love free pretzels. read this book. Apparently not. Let's go get that food. Making my way downtown. Running, running, running. Running, running as fast as I can. Hope they don't catch me. I don't like that f spinning music. I want, I want to go visit the room. The room. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> All right, let's grab some food. I know it's like suspicious that no one's noticed. I mean, maybe either because they're looking for the vampire, obtain food, or because his dad is like stalking him. Could be either. His dad's like, okay, she'll take care of her until we get like you know our our little pier ready. If we see our dad, we shoot him. Okay. We can do that. Are you going back burned? Huh? F father what? Before now you- I was always here. You haven't noticed? No, not really. Were you, you hiding with your ninja skills? Were, were you hiding under the bed? Well, I was hidden though. See? See? You're hidden. So all that time before now? Ah, uh, yes, of course. 
and also know that on Monday you've taken that vampire out to somewhere to the forest to shelter in a certain hideout. What could you really- all of it? Burn. You're too naive about everything. Did you really think you could actually sneak past me with a shallow thinking of a beginner? Ugh. I thought something was strange when you suddenly stopped protesting. What do you tend to do, locking up the vampire in a place like that? Even though you never even try listening to anything I say, do you really think you are able to talk with me about something like that right now? Burn. Do you really think that what you're doing right now is for Angers' sake? Eh? Dude, he's gaslighting you. Run! You always say you want to become stronger, but... To become stronger means to become an adult who can accept what reality truly is. Screw that. Right now, you're merely running away from the reality before you. All you're doing is brandishing your self-serving, self-centered way of thinking. Uh, for me, you see, I thought of Anja as if she was truly my daughter. Yes, by using her to kill her best friend. Because that girl's father was my close friend. So you used her to kill your, you know, her best friend. What, were you homophobic? Is that why? Also, Anja certainly looked like she was sustaining her sense of self. But she is a quite a vampire. Even vampires can sometimes, if they're low level, maintain their sense of self. Vampires are enemy. You're descended from vampires, bro. Shut up. She has now already changed in every way from the human she originally was. The Anja you and I once knew has already been killed. The way she is now certainly matches Anja in appearance, perhaps, but is now nothing more than a mere monster. <sighs> to defeat that vampire would be for Anja's sake, too. As she is right now, Anji won't be summoned to God and will suffer for eternity. Ha! Joke's on you. I believe in multiple gods. Surely you understand, too. Because that girl is kind, it is most painful to hurt more than anything to hurt others. Then why'd you make her kill her friend? Don't listen to him. He's an asshole. If you really want to save Anja, if you really want to become stronger, think about what you should do. I should show you, that's what I should do. Surely you'd understand. And here on also. <clears throat> Run, tiny son. Run! T? T, what are you doing? Stop being creepy. You can help. Help. Returned. Let's get back home. I know. I know. It's okay. All right. Let's see for now. We, we we've gone through an emotional day with him, and, and tiny son. He needs time. It's just so quiet. There isn't even any of that annoying music. It's okay, tiny son. It's okay. Well, that was fun, you know. I, I don't like I don't like guys like that. I don't punch him next time, okay bro? Alrighty then. Ciao.